So my name is Chris Dangler. My name is、um, Atakon Tankaku.、Uh, I also go by the pilot name of the, the Flying Ramen. Today we're having a race at the Philly Metropolitan Opera House, and we're racing drones. Racing in an abandoned opera house. This is actually one that once I see this, like I need to go. I need to go. We use first-person view goggles to visualize what the drone sees. So when I put these goggles on. I am tuned into a radio frequency that I can see in real time what the drone sees. They can very easily reach 90 to 100 miles an hour. Extremely addictive. Once you get into it, once you put on your first goggle, and you're like, "Wow, you know, this is what I want to do." Most people hear the word drone and they think it's either spying on you or going to drop a bomb on you.、Uh, there's a very negative connotation in the public. For a long time, people want to call these things multi-copters, quad-copters, mini quads, anything but the word, the big D word, right? But I think the hobby's changing a little bit now, and that we can just call them drones because you know they're not spying on you, they're not. Dropping bombs on you, and it's just fun. It's like video games in the sense that you're wearing goggles and you're disconnected from what's happening, and you're controlling an electronic device. But at the same time, when you wear the goggles on, your heart can start beating really fast when you're flying by something fast and close. When you crash, oftentimes you'll shudder、uh, or you'll dip your head through turns. I would call it a sport in the same way that you know NASCAR racing can be called a sport or any kind of racing.、Um, a lot of guys think of it as a hobby. But there is now a competitive end, so in that way, we're we're kind of a legitimate sport now. Probably over the half the proportion of pilots out there do have some kind of technical background, whether they're engineers, computer scientists, programmers. Pretty much almost all the drone、uh, that we fly is、uh, handmade, and the reason for that is being once you build it, you know how to fix it. You crash, you fix. You crash, you fix. But at the same time, you know, there's just regular dudes、uh, with non-technical jobs who saw videos of these things flying. They said, "I want to do it," and they got right into it.